Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times again. Now today's story is a pirate adventure story, well in some sense, and the most exciting part about pirates is not really how bad they were, but it's more the treasures and the gold and the jewels that they hid or lost uh, all throughout the world in the oceans. And so today, there was a sunken treasure, um, treasure that was uh, sank to the bottom of the ocean, uh, worth billions of dollars. That's a lot of money. So, after almost 300 years, the remains of the San Jose warship, along with its gold, silver, and jewels, all its important treasure, was located, it was found in the Caribbean Sea near Colombia. This is South America. The Spanish ship sunk in 1708, so a long time ago, after being attacked by the British Navy. So there were, it was wartime, and the British Navy, they attacked or tried to hurt the Spanish warship. <clears throat> Columbia's Institute of Anthropology and History found the remains and claimed them. They found what was left, and they claimed them, which means they're saying it is theirs, it is mine, I claim it. The San Jose had sunk about 800 feet deep. This is about 90 meters. And crews used underwater vehicles, sonar, and cameras to locate it. So underwater vehicles may be a submarine. And sonar, which is using sound. And when the sound bounces off something, we can see it on our screen. And cameras to find it. The government used pictures of vases, cannons, and bottles to verify the wreckage was indeed the San Jose. The photographs also proved the ship did not explode as historians once thought. So they're looking at old pictures and new pictures and they're saying yes this is the right ship and historians they once thought that it exploded like a bomb, a, a cannon or some sort of a weapon hit it and it blew up, but that is not the case. It did not explode. Now, it is unclear who will, who exactly will receive a portion of the ship's treasure, which is estimated to, between, to be between 4 billion and 17 billion dollars. So there are many people who are saying, who are trying to claim it. Uh, one country is saying, no, it's mine. The, one other company is saying, no, it is ours. They're trying to see who gets how much. A U.S. company claims to have first located the San Jose in 1981. This company said, we were first. However, Spain also claims ownership of the treasure because it originated in that country. This ship in 1700s, it came from Spain, so Spain is claiming it. Um, meanwhile, Colombia is not revealing the San Jose's exact location. So again, there's a third party. The Colombian government, the country, they're saying uh, we know where it is, we're not going to tell you where it is, uh, and has plans to build a museum to showcase pieces from the wreckage. So they found all this money, this treasure, these gold and silver and all these jewels, and there are different countries and companies that are trying to take a piece from it. I hope they can find an agreement uh, for everyone's sake. Alright, we have three key review questions here. A. When was the San Jose warship sunk in the Caribbean Sea? When did this warship uh, go to the bottom of the ocean? The San Jose warship sank, sunk in 1708 after being blank by the British Navy. So we have two countries at war, they're fighting, the Britain and we have Spain. And what Britain did was they used weapons and they used cannons and guns to try to hurt this a warship, San Jose warship, and to try to hurt, to try to harm, is to attack. When you're attacking somebody, you're trying to hurt them. Uh, B, what did the government use to confirm or to make sure the wreckage was indeed the San Jose? So they want, there's many ships that in the ocean, and they want to make sure that the one they are looking for is the right one. They want to confirm. They want to make sure. The government used blanks of vases, cannons, and bottles to verify, to check, 
the wreckage was indeed the San Jose. So they used exactly this. Uh, when they studied this image, this sort of picture, that's the answer here, uh, they studied these pictures to make sure that this was the right boat. C. What is Spain's position on ownership of the San Jose warship's treasure? So again, there are different countries that want to be the owner. They want to claim it. Uh, Spain claims ownership of the treasure because it blanked in that country. So 300 years ago, who made this ship originally? What, who were the hands that made this ship? Who, whose gold was it in the beginning? And another way to say in the beginning is from the origin, or we say it originated uh, in that country. So we can say that um, when something originates from somewhere, it started from somewhere. So we can say the hanbok clothes originated from Korea and kimchi originated from Korea. Okay, we have three key terms here. A. Crews used underwater vehicles, sonar, and cameras to blank it. So their main mission is to find it, right? They don't know where it is. The ocean's a very big place, and they can't just guess, right? They need to find it uh, in a smart way. So these are all the tools that they used to locate it. To locate is to find something. A location is a place of somewhere. So locate or location, we're talking about finding the right place. B, the photographs also prove the ship did not blank as historians once thought. So it's natural, historians, they thought that this ship was attacked, the Britons, they attacked the ship, so something bad must have happened, right? Uh, there must have been some sort of a bomb that made it sink. And what bombs do is they make something blow up or something explode. So we can say a bomb explodes, it means it expands fast in a dangerous and fiery and loud way to explode. C. Meanwhile, Colombia is not blank, the San Jose's exact location, place, and has plans to build a museum to showcase pieces from the wreckage. So again, there are many people that are trying to claim the gold and all this money. And the only people that know exactly where it is, is the Colombian government. So they know where it is, but they're not showing the people. They're not going to show you know, the American company. They're not going to show Spain. So to show is to reveal. So when we're hiding something, we're not revealing, but when we show it, we are revealing. So to review, locate is to find somewhere, to locate something. Uh, explode means like a bomb where it's loud and fast and dangerous and bright. And to reveal is to show something. So you're, if something is hidden, and then when we find it, uh, it is revealed. All right. So next time you go to the ocean or maybe even the beach, there are cases where people like you and I, regular people, do find treasure because there's so many mysteries in the ocean that there's more mystery than we even know about the ocean. So keep your eyes open. Uh, thank you for joining us for Junior Times. I'll see you next time.